Hi, um, I'm Greg. Uh, well, it's been about four months since the last video I made about wanting to do an interview with uh, Michael C. Hall from Dexter, and I haven't heard anything back. I uh, haven't heard, I've uh, gotten a video response, a comment, or even an email, because I believe I left my email or Twitter account or something, and I haven't received any messages from him. So, this is me trying again after four months, not hearing a word. Um, so, here I am. Um, just just want to get a response whether you will or not do it, it it's up to you just uh, I just like a response saying yes I would do it or no because uh, my manager's not letting me or I'm just not allowed to because of certain uh, things that could be revealed that you don't want to reveal I don't know uh, that are secrets for next season of Dexter, even though I wouldn't be asking uh, most of the questions are not about next season, it's more about past seasons from season one to the latest season, so anyways um, uh, yeah, so um, I'll leave a link uh, a whole bunch of links down below of ways you can contact me and uh, if you're willing or not willing just leave a video response so I know it's actually you and um, yeah so thank you for watching if you do watch it and if fellow cast members see this and um, feel uh, like it'd be okay um that'd be awesome um i live all the way in canada so it's not like i'm gonna hop a flight or whatever so anyways um i don't know what to convince you to whether to, to do this or not um we could pretty much do it anywhere as long as it's not like super expensive and that I'd actually be able to contact you. So if you wanted to do it over Skype, we could do it over Skype. Um, if you wanted to do it um, through emails and stuff like that, that's fine. Uh, I could send you questions and you could send me video responses to that. That would be fine also. Uh, if you wanted to, if you would like to do it in person, then I would do it in person also. Um, as you can see, I work for a grocery store, so, and this is what the name is, so, um, if you want to check me out, um, you have people to check out, people to make sure they're not crazy or anything. My name is Gregory Leonard Hay. Um, on my Facebook page, it probably says Gregory Horatio Kane. I know that's not really my middle name, but I just thought it'd be cool to have, um, just because, uh, I liked the, sh I liked the, uh, and still like the show, uh, CSI Miami, and the lead character is, uh, his first name in the show is Horatio, so, obviously, um, I'm 26, born October 28, 1985. Um, I live in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Um, I won't say exactly where because I don't want random people coming to my house. You can understand that, especially because you're a celebrity and all. You know, I'm not, obviously. Just a regular person, I have a regular job. Just hoping to meet someone that seems like a really nice guy. And uh, tell you a little bit about myself. Like I said, I work for the grocery store Metro. Worked there for over. Um, we've been working there for over five years. 
Um, as you can tell, I'm a redhead. Um, what else? Um, I've gone, I just finished college, took um, a program called Hospital Tourism Leisure. Took me over four years, or around four years. Um, I've seen your movie Gamer. That was awesome. Um, I've I've been watching every single season from uh, of Dexter from season one to the latest season, and can't wait to uh, get the latest season on a uh, DVD when it. Uh, when it comes out, I'll probably pre-order off of Amazon, uh, depending on the price. Um, um, I have a scar on my chest from since I was two years old uh, because I had a open heart surgery because I had a leaky valve in my heart. Um, I don't know what else to tell you to prove that uh, I'm not a stalker, I'm not crazy, um, even though a lot of people say they're not crazy and they probably end up are crazy, as you've probably seen, or I've seen at least from TV shows and stuff like that. Um, I like pro wrestling. Um, I don't. I've never actually done pro wrestling before. My brother has. He uh, trained in Mexico for three months. Did one match and that was it. Um, I know of uh, I have friends that are pro wrestlers. Um, I watch YouTube a lot. Obviously, as you can tell, since I've done a whole bunch of vlogs myself, um, i never really gone uh, on vacation by myself, ever. Hoping to make that happen at the end of July. Um, planning trying to go to Los Angeles, Burbank area, and then go to uh, Hollywood area just to uh, do the tourist type stuff. I've never really gone out on a uh, uh, on vacation by myself before um, because most of the time I've gone on vacation with family and uh, yeah because I've been to Mexico, New York, uh, Las Vegas um, uh, recently I went to the Dominican Republic I've been to two parts of Mexico um, uh, what else? I've been into different parts of Ontario. Never really been uh, outside of Ontario in the way of Canada wise. Um, my parents have. Oh, well, I've been to, that's not true. I've went to, uh, I've been going to um, Montreal once a year because it's for Christmas and stuff. I've been to Ottawa, which is obviously in Ontario. Uh, my uncle is there. Been living there for I don't know how many years now. He lives in two different parts. So, um, yeah. So, whenever you see this, Michael C. Hall. Um, hopefully. Uh, You'll actually see this, and hopefully you see by me talking for over nine minutes, going on to ten minutes, that um, I guess I have a lot to say to try to prove. I'm not some crazy person or that I'm a stalker because I've never stalked anyone in my life. Um, 
you can you can check my criminal record because I don't have one. Uh, I I've never stolen anything in my life. Never hurt anyone. That hasn't really pissed me off. And even now, people have pissed me off, and I've never hurt them. I mean, I may be all of them or uh, under my breath got angry, but overall, that's it. Um, something I've probably never told anyone besides um, my parents and maybe a couple of people. Um, I started writing um, a graphic novel um, called, uh, well, first one's called The Beginning Years, and then the second one's called Kate's Beginning Years, and uh, the last one in, in the trilogy is The End of the Beginning Years, or The End of the Beginning. pretty much about, it's kind of like a, um, what's it called? it's kind of like a Batman meets Iron Man type of person, and I'm not going to really talk about that much because I don't want people uh, copying me, and then saying they did it themselves even though I'm the one who made it up. And if you're wondering what that noise is, it's the humidifier in the room I'm in right now, which is my basement. And the only reason why I'm doing this in my basement is because I've been watching TV and uh, it's, in a room. it's in the basement, so. Anyways, um, I would prove that I am a Dexter fan, but all my uh, Dexter seasons are all the way up in my room, and I'm not going to leave this on to just go walk all the upstairs to show you, because it's just it's about midnight, so anyways, this, move, uh, this video is going on uh, longer than I expected to go, to tell you the truth, because it's almost 13 minutes, so sorry if I bored you. And um, for all you Dexter fans that would like a Dexter fan interview Michael C. Hall, please uh, send him this video and, and the castmates and ask them to send it to uh, him so that he can see it and he can give you a video response. And once he has, whether it's uh, yes, he is willing to or no, because of whatever reasons, I, all I want is a yes or no, and why. Uh, if it's a no, why? Is it because, like I said before, is it because of the manager situation? Is it because um, you just don't think it's a safe thing to do? I don't know. Um, if you want, I can send you all the questions. Um, and so you can look them over and and you can say which um, which questions you will answer and which questions you won't. It's I just thought it'd be a cool thing to do. So, anyways, like I said, um, and like I say for all my vlogs, this won't be one of them, but for the ones. For all the vlogs that I've said, uh, whenever you watch this, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and good, uh, hopefully I'll hear from you uh, sooner than four months from now. Bye.